Hi guys, Matt Stamper 64 here. Um, I joined uh, your paper pantry and um, I also got into um, a, uh, a swap. And my swap partner is Linda. Um, I will put her her YouTube information in the bottom so you can watch her her, uh, her videos. They're really really cool. Um, yeah, and. Um, it's been hosted by Jolie this time, and it's called um, Girl Power. And let's see, um, you were supposed to make a smash book, a 5x7 smash book. This is a 5x7, the only thing is that the cover is, um, I believe, 5.5x7.5 uh, because I accommodated the 5x7 um, uh, paper inside. And um, I use basic gray paper. I distressed the edges. I paint. You had to use a front and back cover. Was supposed to be um, recycled, uh, recycled, and so I I chose um, uh, corrugated cardboard. I painted. I uh, um, I painted it. You know, like a brown color uh, from one of those daubers, and I put some crackle finish on it. And it looks really really cool. Uh, has a lot of nice crackling. In fact, there, and um, I I glossy accent the uh, little birdie, and I left it plain because um, I thought maybe she might want to stick this in in her bag, and I put a little charm that I made here. I hope she likes it. I didn't put any fiber so that it wouldn't interrupt with anything in her bag. And okay, here we go. So um, again, the the paper I use is basic gray. Uh, it's a really, really old um, line. And then this here, I kind of copied. I'm hoping that I'm not infringing in any angel copyright or whatever it is. Um, so, please don't tell. Um, hmm. I copied the Smash It uh, book stuff. And what I did was, I just used my clip art. So, yeah. Ain't that cool? <gasps> okay. That's that. Okay. And um, here I used um, from my fortune cookie that I opened. <laughs> I distressed it. And it says here, uh, wrinkles should merely indicate where smiles have been. And this is a Power Girl, so um, some of the inspirations are empowering. And then this one says this and that. I got this from um, a girl on YouTube. Uh, her name, I believe, is Chris. And she has about three videos up, and it shows you how to make a smash book. Okay, and then this one is a small little coin envelope. And it says, it's, um, it's the little things that make life big. And it's a tiny little envelope. I thought it was cool to put that in there. Anyways, and I got two quotes in here. And one of them says, There is in every woman's heart a spark of heaven, heavenly fire which lies dormant in the broad daylight of prosperity, but which kindles up and beams and blazes in the dark hours of adversity. And I think I heard um, Jolie mention that that was her favorite quote. Um, I looked it up and I kind of forgot you know, who, who wrote it, but... Um, I'll look for it and put it in the descrip description in the bottom. Then this one says, We are not held back by the love we re we receive in the past, but by the love we're not extending in the present. And this one is by M. Uh, Williamson. Okay. Uh, let's put that back in. Okay. Then this one says, Guilty Pleasures. Okay. And it's, um, I uh, printed that out um, on, brown, on craft paper. These are all um, uh, Chris's um, downloadable that she has. Okay, I went into the city and I got this um, postcard. I thought she would like that. And it says um, New York City. Okay. 
Then over here, this one says, it says, never let another person's negativity cloud your sunshine. And then, you know, I thought it was appropriate with the paper. It looks kind of cloudy. And then there's a sun here that says, be inspired. Okay. And some of the basic gray papers, they're one-sided. Some of them are double-sided. And then I put some uh, regular uh, paper here, um, notebook paper. And it has like little quotes on them. Okay. And this one's quote is where? Oh, this one here, right here. Okay. Then mm. this one's here. Okay. Then this one here is another basic gray. It has a metal embellishment. Um, and it says, believe in yourself. It's plain in the bag, so she couldn't, you know, put whatever she wants. This one says random. Okay, then this one I got from the, um, the web, some website. They had free graphic uh, paper. And you just print it. Okay. This one says notes and quotes. That's also from Chris. This one is another metal embellishment, and there's an envelope here with a note that she can write to herself or one of her children. Um, and this one, ha this is a big giant paper clip that I got at, um, I think this was in Old Navy I got this paper clip. And then it has a few of those um, note uh, tags, and it has, they all have like um, cute quotes on them. Um, let's take them out. One has that one. This one's plain. This one has that. I hope I have it. Oh, I have that upside down there. Okay. Get it together, Olga. Okay. And this one has that one. Don't want to read them. I'm horrible at reading. Okay. I'll just stay long enough for you to read it. Okay, this looks like graph paper too. Okay, and this one here. That's that. I put him back. I'm going to mail it to her soon. Okay, then there's more um, paper. See, double sided. This one is watercolor paper and it says um, watercolor me. <laughs> and I did it with a uh, gel pen that has glitter. Then this is another craft paper. This one is, says smoosh, squash it, and then smash it. Okay, the is missing because I had to cut it down. Then um, this one is, says Yum Tastic. That's a rub on. Plain in the back. And then this one is an envelope with a little metal embellishment. And this one is brown paper from Basic Gray. And I stamped um, Kind. This one I stamped Friend. This one is a poppy, poppy cut cock, and it's a little booster or cock, whatever. And then this here is a washi tape, and she could take it out if she wants. And this is another quote, and it says, "We can always choose to perceive things differently. You can focus on what's wrong in your life, or you can focus on what's right." And I stamped it, you know, wrong or right, and it's kind of crooked. <laughs> I distressed the paper, and I put it on a paper clip here. She, if she wants, she can move it. And this is also another piece of watercolor paper. Then this one says, um, keep cool stuff here. This one says, sparkle. Okay. I was thinking of putting um, uh, maybe some bling here. I guess I'll put some bling over here and over here. And then this one is, I love this color paper. Look at this. So pretty and bright. Then in the back I just put a sticker. 
This one says definition of mine. It's also um, a done downloadable uh, site from Chris's YouTube. I will put her information down in the description bar. This one is a library pocket and a library card. So that was pretty cool. And I put an embe and metal embellishment there. And some more basic gray paper in the back. This one says sweet. And it's also from Chris. I put some washi tape here on this side. Here is this more um, uh, note tags that she can um, put pictures or put some journaling. And it has, you know, inspirational quotes here. Um, this is a pocket that Chris um, teaches you how to make. It's really cool. Then I made a tag here. <clears throat> some more washi um, tape on craft paper. Uh, another sticker here. This one says, So What? This one's another one of those um, cellophane papers. I don't know what they call them. And I, put a t I made a tag for it there. She can journal in the back and in the front if she wants a picture. Then this is a overlay and it says always sweet, sometimes sassy. She could put pictures or you know anything she wants. Um, this one over here in the bottom says wonderful. And the paper's pretty thick. This one here says um, an artistic is somebody who produces, I'm sorry, an artist is somebody who produces things that people don't need to have. Andy War Warhol. Yeah. That's another printable of Chris's. And then some more paper, distressed paper from Basic Gray. This one is another printout from Chris. And some washi paper everywhere of different colors. She can take it out and use it. Then there's this one, craft paper. And some more basic gray paper. Really thick. And the back. The front of the back. And then the... Oops! I dropped some. Then this is the, um, the back side. Yeah. I hope she likes it. I had a hard time, you know, with the binding a little bit, see? Um... But, you know, it's my first journal, and I'm hoping that she forgives me. Um, I'm thinking of throwing a few little extras so she could use in her journal. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, um, yeah, leave a comment. Um, tell me what you think about this journal. Thanks. Bye.